Thank you very much for staying with us. This is News Center. We continue with our coverage. It is 11.10. Uh, so we continue with uh, some of the other top stories that we are focusing on. And uh, we now want to uh, cross over to my colleague, Timothy Otieno. He's joining us live from the Radisson Blue Hotel. We understand that the European Observer Observer's Mission has been there and uh, they have been holding a press conference in regards to the elections. Tim, thank you very much for joining us. So what are they saying about the state of uh, this election process so far here in the country? And uh, what really is the agenda of this mission? Uh, well, thank you, Betty. Uh, the European Union Election Observation Mission has arrived uh, into the country. Uh, Fifteen members who are going to be uh, pairing up to each of them, and they'll be spread across 13 different locations across the country. Now, the team that has arrived here today uh, is categorized as the long-term group who are going to be here during uh, the pre-election, during the election, and post-election after the election coverage and the main task as you have asked uh, will be observation of uh, the election process this is following an invite from the independent electoral and boundaries commission so they're going to be checking on how the voting will be taking place the legal frameworks surrounding uh, the election laws in the country as well as monitoring of the results and the tallying process now the long-term team of 15 uh, members are going to be staying even after the election to uh, monitor other issues such as complaints and petitions that may arise after the August 8th general election. But this team will be reinforced by another 32 member team who are going to be arriving into the country at day before the elections, uh, that is on August the 7th, and the 32 will assist uh, the, these 15 who have arrived today in monitoring the election, but theirs will be a short, on a short-term basis. Uh, so the mission has arrived. All of them have since been dispatched to the 13 different locations, including Laikipia County, Machakos County, Nairobi County, Nakuru County, among others, as they uh, set up and prepare uh, to monitor the very important general election elections that are set to take place on August the 8th, uh, Betty. All right, Tim, are we likely to see a number of reports coming in because uh, the uh, Elections Observers Group right here in the country, you know, has been releasing, uh, you know, blow by blow account of some of the things that they're raising concern over. Are we likely to see the same that, the, you know, before uh, the elections, we'll be able to just sort of like have a report and an assessment of just how the environment is here in the country? Well, definitely that will be uh, very important and vital from the observation group. In fact, on Thursday, the chief observer uh, from Netherlands will be flying into the country and it is expected that uh, she will be making a press conference and addressing the nation on Monday after she has received those preliminary details and reports from the teams that have been dispersed here today. So that very important briefing on Monday will perhaps highlight and paint a picture of how the European Union in particular is uh, monitoring, accessing, uh, assessing rather uh, the election preparation in the country ahead of uh, that very important vote on August the 8th. So this is an announcement that the country should expect will take place on Monday after the chief observer does arrive, from the, uh, does arrive to the country uh, from the Netherlands, and then after which we can perhaps get a clearer picture of uh, what they believe or how they believe the country is prepared uh, to conduct the forthcoming elections, Betty. Martino there joining us from Radisson Blue. Well, what has just happened, like he mentioned, is the European uh, Union Elections Observers Mission has sent, of course, her or dis dispatched teams to uh, quite a number of places around the country to basically just...